Hey, what's going on guys? Um, unfortunately, I'm doing this vlog, kind of not this vlog, this video at night today. So, welcome back. Uh, today is kind of kind of an upsetting video. Um, I didn't really want to post this, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get much videos out. I mean, I still promise at least one or two videos a week, like I usually do. So, I've been trying to do three videos, but I mean, it's just kind of getting a little bit hard due to my situation. So, my E90 behind me... Um, Overheated a couple of days ago because of the weather. It's been like it was 120, 100 and like 15, 120 degrees. Well, you know the heat, and um, it got really, really hot. The car overheated, and uh, it started leaking coolant everywhere. But it leaked it from the the cap itself, not from like the reservoir, not from anywhere, from the reservoir cap, which was kind of strange to me. Um, I did a little bit of research um, and found out that I thought I needed a new cap. I was hoping that was the worst of it, maybe a new reservoir, maybe a new uh, uh, like coolant, whatever, a water pump, you know, worst case. Um, but no, uh, my cousin's uncle checked out the car and he found out that uh, he found out that the car needed a head gasket. So let me show you guys why he thought this and um, why it makes any sense. So that's the problem with the E90. E36 also has some problems but also is looking great. So I'm going to be dailying the E36, hopefully if it passes smog, I'll let you guys know in a bit. Alright guys, so let me show you real quick uh, the E90 thing and then the E36. E36, uh, I took it down to get a smog so I could start driving it and uh, it failed smog. Now, I was very, very, like, it was unexpected. Honestly, even with all the front end damage, with the mileage it was at, I was very unexpected. But even with the BMW, it was very unexpected. It would have a, it would have a blown head gasket with the mileage that it has. Now I take really good care of my car. I always change the fluids on time and everything. I'm wondering why it has a head gasket blown. I'm really hoping that's not the case. But from like, from all the, you know, all the signs it's showing me, it all leads back to a head gasket. And I'll show you guys again what I mean. If you guys probably think of another reason why it's doing this, please let me know down in the comments. It really helped me out so I don't have to drop a lot of money on this. I'm going to leave the E90 in the garage for a little bit. I will push it out to do some a little bit of more mods to it. But as um, money comes from my work, I'm going to be trying to at least get this back on the road because, you know, I need my E90. It's, uh, it's a really practical car to drive. Now, I do have my E36. And um, I've been doing a lot of work to it. As you guys can see, it has headlights, the grills, and everything on it now. Um, so the front end is coming pretty good. The frame is still a little bit bent. Not the frame, but like, you know, uh, the side fender frame thingy. McBob are technically the frame, but not anything to do with like the alignment of the car. Um, so it's a little bit shifted with the headlight. Other than that, everything else is fine. But um, so yeah, back to the E36. Sorry guys that this is mostly just a talking video, but I, I just need to bring everything out so you guys get caught up with what's going on with the car. Um, the E36 is uh, having, it didn't pass smog. Okay, so the E36 did not pass smog uh, because the air pump wasn't working at the moment and the air line, the air vacuum line wasn't connected or it had a cut in it and then some wires were loose and they considered that all, you know, problems for the smog. Now I connected the line, I plugged in the wires to where it needs to be connected and the air pump does function whenever you turn on the car and I think that's all it really needs to function is when you turn on the car. Not when not all the time. Like I turned it on and it like a cold start, and uh, the air pump turned on for like a good two minutes. But if I turn it on now, it won't it won't like turn on the air pump because the car's been on for the like, you know the whole day. So uh, I'll show you guys the problems of both of them real quick. All right, guys, so we come around to the E90. Got my flashlight. Uh, so if you look over here. I was talking to BMW Fanatic about this, if you guys know his YouTube channel, and uh, it's leaking coolant everywhere. Now, uh, I found out that it was leaking coolant from the cap itself. I'll open up the cap real quick. Again, sorry guys for recording this at night. I really didn't want to, but I have a lot of things going on right now. I know that's not an excuse, but yeah. So you guys can see all around there is also white. Let's see if I can get the flashlight on there. And uh, even around the cap, if you guys look at the cap, this white things all around it. So, you know, I was thinking that I needed a new cap. But then my uncle, he just came straight to the car. Well, my, uh, well, we call him Ammu. <laughs> my cousin's, uh, father. He just put his finger in here. And there's oil. Now, I don't know if this is oil or this is the, the coolant. I'm hoping it's just the coolant. But, I mean, he's saying it's oil. So, this does have to be 
uh, that, that, that's a sign of a head gasket, you know, early, early head gasket, um, you know, blows or whatever. So it's not leaking anywhere from the head gasket. It's just leaking from the reservoir. If you guys can, again, if you guys really do know what's going on, please let me know. But it's starting to make sense when I look on forums that uh, they're saying if the engine's overheats and it's leaking from the cap, uh, it's usually a bad head gasket. And then, but usually they would have like you know a check engine light if it's a head gasket. For me currently, I'm not seeing any uh, any lights on the dash and. They're saying that also it should be leaking from the gasket. It's not leaking from the gasket. So if you guys do know what's going on with that, let me know. All right, guys, let me show you what's going on with the E36. Let me just uh, get the hood open real quick. So let's just talk about what the good news is because I want to have some good stuff in this video. So if you guys can see from the last time in the video that this whole, the whole crash bar was damaged. I will show you guys better during the day. Um, I got headlights on them and they're functioning and I have the... The frame support all on there. It just needs new hood latches because they're not really working that well. And uh, on this side, you know, everything is coming together pretty good besides back here. You can see that it didn't line up perfectly. That is because this is shifted back and I had to make my own holes right there. So um, that is a little bit of a problem. So when I put on the bumper, you will see a little bit of a gap difference, but it's not that big of a deal considering the damage the car was in. So um, I pretty much prepared most of it. I'm going to cut this off uh, to make it look more cleaner. You know, look more natural. I'm just gonna literally just cut it off. On the other side, because this side was not hit, it was, uh, let's see if I can put the light on there. As you guys can see, it was perfect. So this side came out on point. This side's all right, but everything's working. Everything's functioning. So when it came to smog, let me show you guys what happened. So they blame these cables, which are connected to uh, the water hoses for like, you know, the wind, windshield wipers, not water hoses, for the windshield, you know, spray. Um, they blame these for not being connected to my water, my water pump. Um, my air pump. And that had nothing to do with it. They're saying this is not turning on. This should only turn on when you're, it's a cold start. It shouldn't be turning on all the time. Now I'm going to turn on the car and it's probably going to, you know, make some sound now. And I'm going to prove it to you guys that it does turn on. But I mean, it wasn't turning on according to them. But when it wasn't turning on, this also, this airline had a big hole in it. So basically I just ripped it off and plugged it back in and now it looks good. Um, air pump is working when it needs to. So I'm hoping it'll just pass smog. Also that same day, the car was dead. Um, I had to jump the car that same day on forums. They're saying they need to drive the car at least 200 miles after uh, you jump the car back up because it reboots all the systems and stuff. I don't know if that's real. I don't know if that's fake. You guys let me know. Um, so yeah, I need to drive the car for about 200 miles, so I have to probably go to the DMV and get like, I don't know, a moving license or whatever for the car. And uh, I fixed, you know, the, the hole, the line in there, and then I also, you know, the air pump is working, I rerouted the wires, all the problems they told me was problem with it. So the emissions, let me show you guys the paper real quick. Alright guys, don't mind the car in the background. Um, so if you guys can help me with any of the problems I'm currently having, I'm having a really tough time with both of my, my, both of my cars. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below. This isn't a video I like to really, you know, put out. I usually like to do informative or, you know, vlogs or whatever that has, you know, positive things about the car. Um, but, you know, I need some help with this. If you guys can help me, it would mean a lot. Uh, and yeah. So if you did enjoy the video or if you found any of these problems, something that you guys have, let me know. Smash that like button and I'll keep you guys informed of what I do and um, what I did to fix it. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy, you know.